Hi, this is Dr. Weirs. So, very often when I'm meeting someone for the first time, they'll say, what do you do for a living? And I'll say, I'm a physician. And they'll say, oh, really? What kind of physician? What do you practice? And I'll take a deep breath and I'll say, I practice environmental, functional, and integrative medicine. And very often they'll look at me and they'll go, huh? What's that? So, the three fields overlap quite a bit, but I do think there are some distinctions you could consider between these specialties. To sum it up very briefly, environmental medicine is the study of how the environment impacts the organism. Um, so for us, of course, that's going to be human health. So for any given health condition, we're going to look at what could be the causes of it. And we believe everything that happens is an interaction between the person and their environment, which is everything that we're around. So for any given thing that's going on, we're going to look at, well, what could be the root cause of what kicked off the health problem in the first place? And can we search and find it and correct it at that level? Which we feel like is a much better way of, of, of doing things than just covering up symptoms. Functional medicine, very similar in, in many ways to environmental medicine, is also looking for the root cause to any given problem. And then it approaches it from a systems-based approach. Uh, this can include several different types of, of functional testing to look into what could be at the root cause of, of what's going on. It's an excellent way. It's also approaching things for, from trying to get to the source instead of just covering up symptoms. Integrative medicine, if I had to sum it up very briefly, is basically the combination of traditional medicine, or, or in the United States you could say allopathic medicine, along with some additional therapies that could be thought of as complementary or even alternative but that have a scientific basis for them. Um, so basically with integrative medicine as it's taught at the University of Arizona, we're not going to accept non-science based treatments, but we're, we're not going to ignore treatments that have basically proven benefit. And then we're going to take into account the whole person and put any reasonable therapy on the table as a way to approach any given problem that we're working with. And when you, when you put the combination together, you get better outcomes than just strictly going drugs and surgery versus strictly going complementary therapy. So, um, so that's basically the way that we're going to approach <clears throat> any patient that we see is we're going to look at the whole person, the whole person's life history, and we're going to look for why, look for the root cause, and we're going to try to use any therapy that we feel like is safe, effective, and evidence-based.